Welcome back to Squawk on the Street, and I'd like to welcome my special guest from the great state of North Carolina, Governor Pat McCrory. Thank you for taking the time today, Governor. Thanks for having me. I appreciate it. Good being back. We have a lot of areas to go to. Let's start out with the best. I do believe you have a pen in your vest pocket right now that you put to unique use within the last several hours. Maybe you could share that with the listeners and viewers on CNBC. Well, we just signed a bill in North Carolina to get North Carolina involved in the gas exploration business. We think there is some great uh, possibility for natural gas exploration inland in North Carolina in about four or five counties. And we've been sitting on the sidelines for a long time while we're having to ship in gas from uh, other states. And we believe uh, to help jobs, to help the, our country's energy independence, uh, we need to get in the natural gas business. And we began that process today, and we hope to start doing some test wells, possibly on some state property, to see exactly what type of natural gas reserves we have, see, see whether it's wet gas or dry gas, and, and create some more jobs in North Carolina as part of the Carolina comeback. Excellent. Now, Governor, let's switch gears a bit. Uh, the, the country slashed jobless claim benefits at the end of last year. Your state slashed them about six months earlier. So in many ways, you're a case study and what this may mean. Can you tell me how the experience is going thus far? Well, I think it's the major variable that's different from most states, and that is uh, we were fifth highest in unemployment when we uh, decided not to extend unemployment, and that was to cut off our debt. We owed about $2.6 billion to the federal government, and our businesses who were having to pay the unemployment tax were only paying on the interest, not even getting to the principal. And plus, we had a lot of employers who were telling us that they had job openings, but people weren't taking them. So we made a tough decision, and as a result of that tough decision, we're not even in the top 30 or 40 in unemployment right now. In fact, for the first time in eight years, our unemployment rate is below the national average. And uh, people are taking jobs and getting in the job market and off the government rolls, which is exactly what we wanted. And uh, it's part of the Carolina comeback and uh, part of the strengthening of our economy. All right. Now, Governor, I'm going to push back a little bit, just a bit. Uh, okay. Now, let's, first of all, let's read something. And both of these quotes, we'll start out with the first one, were an article in the Wall Street Journal in early March. The first one says, uh, and it was actually a quote from David Burleson, who's your superintendent of school districts in Avery County. He said, when we post a clerical position, especially those positions that have limited skills, we are flooded. OK, so on one hand, uh, th there is definitely a lot of people out there that need to find work. What this tells me is that there may be a skills gap. Can you expand on that? Well, I actually think our country and our state, along with many other states, have had a disconnect between education and commerce, where we have job openings, but education is not teaching the skills that we need for those job openings that we currently have, especially in engineering, especially technicians, mechanical, electrical, even plumbers and HVAC. Uh, these are the types of people that employers need right now, but... Uh, we weren't rewarding our community colleges and our universities for uh, training those types of individuals, which are usually more expensive courses with less graduates, but there's a 100% employment rate with those graduates. So we've changed the whole formula on how we reward educators with taking courses in classes where there's actually openings for jobs. And that means students won't have debt when they graduate as much because they'll get a job and be able to pay off that debt. Now, In Governor, other words, we're let me tying stop education into have, the job market. Governor, we have about 20 seconds left. And here's the thing that bugs me. Okay, another quote. Right. The jobless rate plummeted from 9.5% at the start of 2013 in North Carolina to 6.9% at the end. 110,930 people left the labor force. Overall employment rose by 13,400. See, this is the problem, okay? When you cut benefits, what we're seeing is we're seeing people not counted as unemployed. Even though you did bring in 13,000, it's a far cry from 110,000. This is an experience on the national level as well. Your final thoughts on that dynamic? We're actually now, we're going to start seeing the first net increase in jobs in North Carolina in the last five years because we are seeing companies come here because they're finding the talent and the talent's willing to take the jobs where the job openings are. That decline, the same percentage of decline has been across the nation, but our unemployment rate has dropped and, and now it's cheaper to do business in North Carolina and that encourages new investment and new investment means new jobs. 
Governor, thank you so much for taking the time. Congratulations on the signing of the bill to bring fracking to the great state of North Carolina. Carl Quintanilla, back to you. All right, Rick.